Though he wasn't a perfect king, Solomon did do some good things when he was a king. One of the best things he did was build a new temple for God. It was a beautiful temple that took seven years to build. When Solomon's new temple was finished, all the Israelites came together to celebrate. Solomon gave a long speech and reminded them of something very important. Solomon said that as long as the Israelites followed God, he would bless them and protect them. If they ignored God or started following other gods, then enemies would come and carry them out of the promised land. Solomon wasn't the first one to say this. Moses had said the same thing way back at Mount Sinai. This warning had been repeated over and over. Follow God and things will be wonderful. Turn away from God and enemies will carry you out of this special land. The Israelites were no longer following God. King after king worshipped other gods and even killed the Israelites who wanted to follow the one true God. Yet God was patient. He sent prophets to warn the Israelites again and again. Turn back to God, they'd say, or there will be trouble. But Israel's kings ignored the prophets. They ignored the warnings. They forgot about God. And eventually, God couldn't wait any longer. He had to do what he had promised he would do, even though it made him very sad. Two great empires were growing next to Israel. In the north were the Assyrians. In the south, the Babylonians. Their kings were the strongest kings with the biggest armies the world had ever seen, and they were always at war, conquering one nation after another. It seemed like they were taking over the whole world. Finally, God stopped protecting the northern kingdom of Israel. The Assyrian army attacked Israel and destroyed it. The king and many of the Israelites were dragged away to Assyria in chains. The northern kingdom no longer existed. God was even more patient with the southern kingdom, called Judah, since the kings of Judah were the children of King David. But for every good king of Judah, there were two bad kings. For every king who turned back to God, there were two more who wandered even farther away. About a hundred years after the Assyrians attacked the northern kingdom, God removed his protection from Judah in the south. Many of the people of Judah were dragged away to Babylon, which was ruled by an evil king named Nebuchadnezzar. Next, King Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians captured David's city, Jerusalem. What's worse, Jerusalem was burned. The walls were pulled down, and Solomon's temple, God's dwelling place among the Israelites, was completely destroyed. Was this the end of God's people? Was it the end of God's rescue plan? Would the blessing for the whole world ever come?